For this question, I need to use the titration curve to determine the pKa of ascorbic acid. All right, well, before we do that, let's look at our Henderson-Hasselbalch equation below. That's my pH formula. So I know that from this formula that there's a specific point on the titration called the half equivalence point. And at the half equivalence point, the concentration of conjugate base to acid is actually exactly the same thing. So the log becomes the log of one, which means that this whole expression will turn to zero only at the half equivalence point. So that's helpful because then what I can see from this formula is that the pH will equal the pKa at the half equivalence point. So where is the half equivalence point? Well, if we look at our titration curve, I can tell that when 16 milliliters of NaOH was added, this is my equivalence point. So this is where the acid and base moles equal each other and they consumed one another. Um, you can tell because the pH starts to jump up and you have the steep rise at 16 milliliters. So if 16 milliliters is my full equivalence point, that means half of that, in other words, eight milliliters of base added, this is my half equivalence point here on the graph. Okay, so remember what I said, that at the half equivalence point, uh, the pH will equal the pKa, so the pH here is around 4.1 approximately. That's the answer to this question on the 2025 AP Chem Free Response.